Hello and welcome back to Matt's Garage. I wanted to spend a few minutes uh, talking about my uh, French cleat wall and giving you uh, a chance to get a couple of ideas from it. Uh, first of all, it's pretty basic. A um, <clears throat> couple of important things about it. One, it uh, is built entirely from scrap. In other words, I didn't buy any new wood. Uh, the, the cleats themselves on the wall were leftover uh, 5 8 uh, plywood from, from the garage project. I want to say they were the roof uh, uh, sheathing, so there were some sheets that, uh, that were left over. As you can see, they're a bit weathered. Uh, at one point, I had uh, some of my spare lumber uh, under a tarp, and then I realized I had to use that particular tarp for something else. And then, of course, they got a little rained on. Uh, but they are uh, secured into the wall, uh, directly into the studs, uh, six, uh, six three-inch uh, screws uh, per, uh, per cleat. So, uh, as they say, it's not going anywhere. Um, and as far as the, the holders themselves, um, well, uh, one more thing about the cleats. Uh, I, my, my table saw, as you can see here, uh, spinning danger blade, uh, there's, a, there's a problem with... Uh, with the trunnion, and I use the word loosely, uh, that uh, that turns the blade uh, on an angle. Uh, it has plastic teeth, and of course the, the last uh, two teeth broke off, so it won't uh, go all the way down to a 45 degree angle. Uh, so I cut those uh, on my uh, circular saw. I, I, I jigged it, clamped it, and each one was cut uh, from uh, uh, using the circular saw. Uh, the height of each cleat, uh, the forward side that you see uh, in front of you is three inches and the spacing between them is four inches. Uh, I thought that worked out pretty well as I started putting holders on it. Uh, I realized, yeah, there's probably a little wasted space. Um, so if I build another one uh, over on the other, uh, other wall, which I, I certainly will do, uh, I might reduce uh, the spacing down to to three inches and possibly even two inches. Uh, the cleats on the back are basically uh, made uh, from off cuts uh, that, were, uh, that were created as part of creating the, the overall cleats. I wanna say they're a little over uh, an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter uh, uh, wide. Uh, plenty of, of cleat space to, to hang what I wanna hang. As far as the hangers are concerned, um, I like to call these the five basic food groups of of holders, right? Uh, so if you look, uh, we'll, we'll come in a little bit closer here. Uh, I have dowels for the hammers. Uh, these worked out nice. Uh, I had a couple of uh, scrap dowels. Uh, oh, so I guess I told a white lie. I did buy a couple of uh, couple of dowels for a few dollars at uh, at one of the big box stores. Uh, and you know, as you can see, for some of the hammers, it made sense to uh, actually hang them upside down, take advantage of the fact that uh, the bottom part of the handle on many hammers tends to be a little bit wider than, uh, than, than the shaft. There's a little hand grip there. Uh, so that worked out well. So, you know, food, uh, item number one in the food group is dowels or pegs. Uh, if you ever need to hang something uh, that has sort of a natural, uh, a natural hook on top like a hammer, uh, dowels are actually ideal. You, you can't get simpler than the construction of, uh, of a cleat with dowels. It's a board with holes in it and dowels glued into it. Uh, as second in the food group is magnets. Um, you know, after taking my hammers out of the pile that they were in inside of a tool chest, I said, well, you know, let me grab the vice grips next. I do use vice grips, uh, even though this is primarily wood woodworking in this shop uh, and home projects. Um, you know what happens, right? There's a nail that won't come out. There, there's some, all, always a reason to pick up a vice grips. And so for this one, I used magnets. Um, these are approximately 12 millimeter uh, diameter rare earth magnets. Uh, I don't have either a 12 millimeter bit, a uh, Forstner bit, or for that matter, any Forstner bits. Uh, I need to get Forstner bits. Um, so I, I went as close as I could. I drew a half, uh, I, I drilled a half inch uh, hole, uh, just, uh, just deep enough for the magnet to, to sit uh, flush. Um, and then I used uh, a JB Weld uh, Epoxy. If uh, you're not familiar with JB Weld Epoxy, it's actually uh, designed and is one of the best uh, epoxies, in my opinion, for uh, joining metal 
uh, to wood. Uh, I use it in one of my other hobbies, uh, rocketry, and anytime I need to join metal to wood or metal to, uh, to paper, uh, JB Weld is, is the choice. Uh, so those magnets also are going nowhere. And uh, I'm not sure if you can beat the simplicity of this. It's board, cleat, magnets. That's it. Third uh, item in the food group is holds. Things with pointy ends like screwdrivers, uh, there's really no reason to do anything other than uh, <clears throat> make a cleat consisting of a board, a second board at right angles to it, and, and holds. Uh, so you can see I was uh, very precise and I actually drew a nice line across, uh, uh, spaced the holds out uh, evenly. Uh, some of the holds are slightly different diameters like these. Uh, this larger screwdriver needed a slightly larger uh, hole because the, the blade is wide. Uh, but they all have nice uh, flat bottoms uh, between the handle and the shaft so they sit uh, very, uh, very nicely. Uh, I, uh, I think that's just basic construction on that one. Uh, nothing, uh, nothing fancy. I, I should mention that uh, for all of these, um, these are glue and uh, one and a quarter inch uh, uh, brad nails, 18 gauge brad nails, uh, put in place with uh, my trusty DeWalt cordless uh, brad nailer. Um, you know, I, I'm not gonna throw these things around, so I did not wanna spend any time with, you know, screws or anything like that. Um, no, no real need for it. Um, uh, fourth food group, slots. So uh, I, I wanted to get my, my drills, again, they were sort of sitting in the bottom shelf of, uh, of a tool chest uh, that I have. And every time I needed to grab a drill or a driver, which as you know, is all the time, um, it was a pain. I had to go over there and you know, or what if the battery was dead, then I had to go over to the not very convenient place where I was keeping uh, chargers. So I said, you know what, let me, this, this is probably not gonna be permanent, um, famous last words, but let me just come up with a basic design for, uh, for a drill station. And uh, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed as to the quality of my slots. I'm actually not very good uh, with the jigsaw. There's a lot of tear out. Uh, I mean, partly because, again, I, I don't have a Forstner bit. So uh, drilling the holds uh, at the edge of, of these slots uh, to, help, uh, to help make the, the jigsaw blade turn uh, was, was challenging. That, that gave me a lot of tear out. Uh, but these are just uh, slots. Um, the battery and this charger are just sitting here now. I, again, uh, this will probably be uh, temporary. I'm sure I'll come up with uh, a design or adapt one of the many designs I've seen uh, to, to create a more permanent station. But as far as getting, you know, sort of my, really my most used cordless tools, which is certainly the, 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 the drill and the driver, uh, this made a lot of sense, uh, very easy to, to you know, pop a battery on uh, when I take the tool off. Very easy to say, hey, it's time for them to go back home. Uh, I did uh, uh, some very minor uh, fancy joinery here. I had, uh, again, this old, uh, old piece of wood laying around. Uh, all this wood is old wood. Uh, so because I wanted a little more strength on, strength on this because of, uh, you know, the, these tools are a bit heavy uh, and because this was only half inch plywood, again, it's sort of what I had laying around. Um, I did cut a dado uh, on the on the table saw and then uh, attached a, a brace underneath it to give it a little additional uh, support. Uh, again, not going anywhere. Brad nails uh, and, uh, and and glue uh, all around. Uh, you know, at some point I might rebuild this and uh, you know, use three quarter inch plywood. But the, the basic design for uh, often used tools where you want the tools in a charger uh, is is pretty good. And then finally, uh, the, the fifth uh, f food group, uh, you know, brackets of some sort. Uh, so, you know, unless you're building a, a very specific holder for a very specific uh, tool, um, I feel like, you know, brackets, pegs, magnets, holds, and slots, and, and of course, uh, I should add, uh, just shelf, because part of this, uh, the, the slots are one thing, but the, the, the charger and the battery are on the shelf. 
uh, I, I think that's going to cover everything. Uh, for for the, the initial clamp rack, uh, I was sort of very happy to get the, the clamps out of the bucket on the front porch where they were um, as you know, part of getting everything out of the old garage and building this new garage up. Um, so, you know, I, I, I took the approach of, you know, let, let me see if I can, you know, just, just build some, you know, some basic braces. Uh, again, this is all scrap wood. Uh, the braces, the triangular braces themselves are, uh, built out of, believe it or not, uh, cut down, uh, two by sixes. I had a couple of extra two by sixes, uh, from the garage project. Uh, so, uh, a couple months back, uh, I, I ripped them all down. Uh, you can see the width here is, you know, two by four width, so it's one and a half inches. Uh, I ripped them down into these convenient uh, three quarter inch uh, strips. Um, you're just thinking, hey, it, it would probably be good to have some, you know, some project sticks laying around. And sure enough, um, perfect project for them. Uh, the, the spacing is, is you know, s somewhat uh, custom. Uh, these are about two inches apart. These are two and a half. Uh, the two and a half is really good for these uh, inexpensive uh, uh, Harbor Freight uh, clamps and then uh, my, my Jorgensen F clamps uh, sit nicely here. Uh, I've got a bunch more clamps uh, that that I need uh, holders for, uh, but but I thought this was a, this was a really good start. Um, and, and as far as the, the the backing is concerned, you know I see a lot of people using you know sort of full uh, full pieces of wood. And as, as I thought about it, I said you know that's that's actually pretty wasteful and, and certainly in this case where where the braces themselves uh, i actually uh, dimensioned them so that uh, they would they would end at the bottom of the the, the next uh, cleat because i knew that it, this was going to span uh, span two cleats uh, the braces themselves were an ideal uh, attachment point for uh, two you know short these are about four inches uh, for uh, two you know, narrow a four inch wide uh, pieces of scrap uh, plywood, and obviously the cleat is, is attached uh, up here in the back. Uh, but but why waste a full piece of wood when you really don't need it? Uh, all you really needed was you know something to butt up against the the, the bottom uh, the bottom cleat so that you don't get uh, so you don't get uh, wobble. Uh, so again, you know I I feel like this is going to be plenty strong. Uh, I might uh, put some uh, some pegs on this uh, outer cleat. This outer cleat is actually technically not uh, used. It's not holding anything. Um, it's sort of just, you know, keeping this one from, you know, if you knock it, uh, if you knock into it for some reason, uh, from, from, you know, immediately falling off the wall. Uh, so I actually might put some downs in here and use it to hold uh, some of my, uh, some of my spring clamps. Um, so anyway, um, that's it. Just wanted to give you guys uh, a quick look at, uh, at my, uh, you know, nascent uh, French cleat wall. Again, you know, uh, nearly all scrap wood, um, really simple um, design and really simple holders. If you like this content, uh, make sure to uh, like, uh, hit notify, and subscribe. Uh, I'm pretty new at content creation, as you can tell. Uh, still doing things uh, while uh, mostly while holding an iPhone, um, but uh, hope to have more. Uh, content uh, from Matt's Garage uh, in the future. Take care and go build something fun.